Okay. <clears throat> Got everything set up. Hope you guys are having a good day. It is uh, bowl week. Let me see if I can pull up something for you guys. Just kind of go through what I think is going to happen today. I would like to watch that uh, Georgia-Bama game. Uh, for schedule. Okay. I want Oklahoma State to beat Baylor. Uh, not really too partial to this. I think um, seeing Northern Illinois win their conference would be cool. For some reason, I want Utah State to win. I'm rooting for App State over Louisiana. Um, I do want Georgia to beat Alabama. <laughs> I would like Houston to uh, Houston to lose to Cincinnati. Um, I would like Michigan to beat Iowa, Pitt to beat Wake, and California to beat USC. So that is pretty much who I am rooting for. Let's take a look at our recruiting. I've got my coffee with me today, so I should be good. We're really in a fight for our... Um, Basically, top five dudes. Ismael Sanders, uh, LSU, has taken the lead. But uh, I'm kind of hoping we just kind of stay in the range of Sanders and Cage to at least get them. Um, don't know why they're not coming to us. Uh, those are big bonuses. Brian Taylor dropped us down to sixth. Interesting. Wow. Wow. Uh, Jerome McCauley, we're still in the lead four, so that's good. Nicholas Washington, top three. Blake Griffin, we are in the lead. Uh, John Tyson, just not not like a really great defensive tackle, but definitely somebody to kind of like train up. Derek Grimes, I would just like to have my QB slots filled out pretty much, just in case. Um, Adam Tutens. Or Tuttons. Okay, he's a wide receiver. The last guy is Alan Mason. So, um, tackles. We've got Lawrence Sears, Carl Hunt. Sears, even though he is a 69 overall. That's pretty good stats. 75 pass, 79 run, 79 impact. Can't really complain about that. Carl Hunt is 72 overall, 77 pass, 81 run, impact of 68. So, uh, this is our biggest recruit so far. Number one strong safety in the nation, Neil Tillman. Followed by Vince Johnson, number six overall athlete. It looks like he's a quarterback. Uh, he's got man coverage, play rec, pursuit, zone coverage, press. Um, linebacker, maybe. Um, outside, potentially middle. And then, of course, we do have a quarterback in Khalid Kelly. So the class is okay, but we're, we're starting to get into the little scrappy stages of recruiting. Which I'm kind of not the world's biggest fan of. Of how I can have a lead, right? And then they visit a school that's like almost 2,000 points behind me. And then they jump me. You know. So, I don't know if I just need to upgrade. I think I have the visit thing upgraded all the way. So, good quarterback, left guard, and wide receiver. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with but you. we Reece do have Latimer. We and do have Latimer probably at the number one spot. That's our number one corner that we got last year. Both know the conference championship is at stake. And for the loser, that team is likely to take a major hit in its postseason bowl plan. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. <clears throat> and now it's time for the coin toss. And okay, we definitely Michael need to Real win Oklahoma this. <clears throat> Up the 
kick this one off. And you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He's to the 20. At the 30, he gets hit out of bounds. Almost. Last game, 11 catches, 180 yards, and three touchdowns. I don't think... I don't think it gets better than that, man. Out on the field for the first drive. Dude, Reynolds was down. It was pretty obvious. That's what I was about to say. Like, bro. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, dude. <clears throat> Thank you. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Uh, yeah, well, it looks like the game didn't penalize him for that fumble. Sweet. Okay. Okay, kids. Okay. I actually like Charlotte's Field. It actually looks pretty nice. It's not trashy or anything. Why didn't you cut? Why didn't you go outside, bro? Frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established, and for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards. It can really I mean, we definitely need to just get a little bit stronger at the line. I feel like we have some pieces. I feel like it's getting there. He broke off of the coverage that fast. Wow. Okay. Let's just punt, try to get a good pin. All right, Rodgers. Rodgers awaits the snap. Oh, that wasn't good at all. Dang it. Either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Oh, come on, man. I had it played perfectly. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Yeah, no. Sorry, no. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Why? Why did you do that? <sighs> Why did you knock it out of Travis Adams' hands, dummy? These defenders, uh, right around the thirty six yard line. There's Munnerlin. I'm tired of seeing Munnerlin Rutgers coming out playing pretty much fantastic. He's under some heat. This one's going deep to the end zone. The 
Okay, there's two deflections. Let's go. Jake Latimer. Uh, From the 36 yard line, it's second down. Okay, defense. Good job, peoples. Okay. <clears throat> they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Dude, a band, like, just why? Ah. Why did they break down? Why, why do those corners break down? in that manner they break down and stop they, they just stop their feet that's not what you do in real life your feet never stop bro oh come on did you end up beating georgia yesterday georgia uh i don't think i played georgia yesterday I did win both my games yesterday. By the way, welcome to the stream, Big Steppa. There we go. From the nine yard line, it's second down. Jones, we'll put him there. Oh, please wake up and, like, pick it off. Okay. Good defense. Okay, I will take that, Ben, but don't break. Maybe that was Houston, my bad. Oh, you good, bud. Uh, yeah, we did end up beating Houston. We're undefeated right now, and Rutgers is 6-1. Uh, and one. So at the beginning of the stream, I kind of made my uh, calls for the conference championships today. Uh, let me see if I have it still up. So just, just kind of get your opinion. You know, I kind of like talking to people that uh, join in and stuff. Uh, that Oregon-Utah game last night surprised me. Uh, UTSA won their conference. Good for them. Um, I am rooting for Oklahoma State over Baylor. Northern Illinois over Kent State. Utah State over San Diego State. App State over Louisiana. I want Georgia to beat Bama. I want Cincinnati to beat Houston. I want Michigan to beat Iowa. Pitt over Wake. And California over USC. So that's that's who I'm rooting for today. Obviously, you know, one of the bigger games is uh, Bama, Georgia. But, uh, you know, these these ones here, you know, the later ones, like, I'll definitely be panning, like, back and forth uh, between them. So I'm definitely interested in the conference titles that they have this year. Houston's defense is a little bit stingy, man, just a tiny bit. But we minimized the damage, held them to a field goal, and see if we can continue doing the same. Oh, yikes. Little dump off. Take it. I expect Bama Georgia to be a low scoring game. Really? I, I don't know about low scoring, my guy, because, I mean, you got to look at Bryce Young and look at his, like, that that guy is a goon. Bryce Young, I think he deserves serious Heisman uh, consideration. Um, not because he's a stat monster, but because of how, basically, he's led this team. He's not an upperclassman. I think he's a sophomore, if, if I'm not mistaken, and... Being a sophomore and throwing, he throws ropes. He throws absolute shredders. 
So, I mean, if, if I had a quarterback like that, I mean, I would get him all the weapons that I could pretty much. Yikes. Raid Reynolds, rest in peace. Um, he did not survive that hit. <laughs> God, that looked like it hurt, too. Man, my chest hurt from that. Well, here's the thing, and uh, Stepper, I don't want to sit here and say, oh, yeah, dude, you know, it's not going to be close. Like, there's a high possibility it could be, like, a 10-10 to 10 type ball game. For sure. And this is why I love Justin, Justin Parker. Always go after quarterbacks that have high mobility in your recruiting. Sure. Some of them may be like three stars. But if you can find that good agility, agility, acceleration, decent speed, you've got yourself a goon there, an escape artist. Chavion. I, I've been getting our senior running back, Javion Smith, a little bit more involved uh, with carries this year. I hope he appreciates it. I, I'm just, I'm really excited to see what our offensive line can be. Because if we get a good offensive line, like, dude, no one is stopping us. Nobody. Mm, Tony Jones. He just feels, he feels different. He feels different. He was the number one wide receiver when we recruited him. He is a true senior. We have had him for four years. He's broken pretty much all of Austin Duke's records. Austin Duke uh, played for the Panthers a little bit in, in real life. And Austin Duke was nasty. Uh, for UNCC. He just put up these stat bombs. Dang it, Ray. Just be a little faster. Big stepper. Yeah, but I think George's defense will be the toughest he's seen. True. Um, prior Clemson cornerback, uh, Darion Kendrick, is on George's team and is absolutely balling out. And George's offense is not the most explosive either. True. I can't. I, I got a feeling like their defense is going to bail them out of some situations, and then they'll just totally crap the bed with some kind of defensive play calling. I can't believe Mike Nicholson caught that. I just chucked it up. I'm excited. I, I hope you guys are excited. Uh, you know, for obviously for... Uh, conference championship week. I always enjoy this time of year, man. I love it. Right back to Mike Nicholson. Four of six, 52 yards and a touchdown. I'll take it. Good job, King. Broke the press. That's good. You always want to go after wide receivers with kind of like a decent bench because that they can break presses a lot. And when you're playing on really difficult like uh, Heisman sliders, I think I'm playing on pretty difficult Heisman sliders because it's taken me five seasons to build up this team, which I appreciate. I appreciate the, uh, the struggle for sure. I don't like it, but I appreciate it. So, yeah, you, you just have to basically go after guys that you can get. Maybe when you hit four-star, five-star prestige, you can begin to go after, um, what do you call it, higher, higher recruits more consistently. And like, I personally think you can build a dynasty off of just slamming four stars. You don't necessarily need the, the fives all the time. I have a dynasty with Louisville on the PS3. I'm on year six. Okay. You started with the 2019 rosters. Okay. That's... The, I, I love this community. Like, I mean, I've been playing some Battlefield, and like I'll stream that every now and again, but this community, I just love it so much. 
because everybody keeps it up to date, X, Y, Z, you know. So it's just nice. It's nice to be able to go back to rosters, those up, play the game that we all enjoyed in our teenage and childhood years. I just really hope that EA does not mess up the 2023 reboot of this series. I don't know if you've heard about that, but they are bringing college football back. But it's on a two and a half or three year development cycle. Which makes sense because they're having to rebuild all the engines for next gen, XYZ. So I'm pretty much okay with that. I just hope that they retain the core components of this game. Which in, in my opinion is pretty good. I think 14 is probably one of the better games made. So if they keep the core components, maybe dabble in the recruiting. That's just terrible tackling. Um, I'm, I'm, EA makes me nervous, dude. Because I enjoy the gunplay for Battlefield. It's not the best Battlefield, okay? Like, I'll just be honest with you. But just seeing what EA does usually to its... Um, uh, client base or customer base, they just kind of mislead them to pump up sales. Um, I think it's a dirty trick, personally. But when NCAA 12, X, Y, Z, when all these other games came out, I didn't really, didn't really see that. You didn't see it too much about the misleading advertisement. They just showed gameplay, not these kind of. What do you call it, man? Like, computer simulated trailers? And that's my biggest issue. Like, I do want to enjoy your game. I want to purchase your products. Please don't make them insanely expensive. And, um, just don't make it weird. Don't mess with the core components of the game that made it work for so long. So that's what I'm nervous about, about the new. Because if it's trash, if it if it is a Madden copy pasta, I'm, I'm not dealing with it. I will honestly uh, play the revamped mod. I will continue to play this, because I'm playing this on my PC. And um, I'm having an okay time with it. Let's see, let's go here. And they converted. Dang it. Okay. I don't... I, I can't really tell you how heavy this child that lives above me is. Mm. But he is loud. This boy above me. This baby. This big baby. But anyways, um, Stepper, I haven't seen you before, man. Uh, welcome to the channel. I want to give you a proper welcome. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Looking at the content. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving, bud. And uh, hope you and your family stay blessed throughout the, the holiday season. Christmas, New Year's, XYZ. Man. Hopefully we can see you some more in here. We have a core group of guys on um, that come in and, you know, watch the streams and stuff. But, yeah, definitely, definitely looking to expand that. So just appreciate everybody stopping by. And bring some pressure on third downs. Ah, okay. I mean, I, I want to. Okay, it's not that it's not that I haven't thought about it, but every time I've brought pressure um, in this dynasty, I get burned every single time. <laughs> it's like it's like the CPU just instantly knows that I'm uh, bringing a double A gap blitz on. What? Ooh. Raid. Oh man, 
That's what I love about Raid. His agility is so high. Speed, not not so much there. Not so much there. But. Okay, what do we have here? No, not this one. There's a strike complete. A little low on the toss. Don't really know why. Did I do something wrong? Uh, no, that was just a weird animation. That was a good ball. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the thirty. The oh, offense oops. I had it on two clock, but that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> One hundred. <laughs> Well, it's just it's frustrating for me, man. It's frustrating because I I think I have it all set in stone. We're good to go. And I just get absolutely shredded. And he tackles him hard at the 21. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we've been throwing to Colin Weather, who is our tight end. He is a senior, but we've been getting him involved in the passing game. It has worked out. Okay. <clears throat> We have two timeouts left. 58 yards by Mike Nicholson already. That ball is looking good. Okay. If Jones can break off of his press. Or I'm just going to run it in with Parker. When your leader takes things into his own hands, especially down inside the tent. And he converts the extra. This is a big game. I mean, Rutgers being six and one, you know, if they get a victory over us, they will have the tiebreaker for the uh, conference title, which we don't want to happen. Davis from the three. He's tackled at the twenty nine. Ask the coach and the momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gets out to around the 38. The offensive okay, they took a timeout. Interesting. The back to pick up nine on the play. Um No. There's two seconds left. A few feet away from that first down marker. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He goes downtown. I need a deflection or a pick. Okay, there's Bratton. Oh, bro. Bro, why'd you miss that block, King? Ah. Uh, I think Bratton is a corner. I think. But runs like a linebacker. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. All right, All right Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third So two quarter. deflections and a pick. We're getting more interceptions this year, and I think it's because I upgraded the uh, awareness. Davis. Ooh. Oh, dude. Who is 80? Wish I knew. He makes special teams plays all the time. Dude's a goon. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. Uh, but they have man. to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Ah, just need to be a little bit fast. Just a little bit. Sean Munnerlin. I remember that guy just torturing me. Um last last season. Ball on their own thirty five. There we go. One yard loss to the halfback. Eric Jones got the tackle for loss. Is that the linebacker? Yep. 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 Uh, oh, playback. Okay. 
like perfect. I don't understand some some of the strength of my players. Okay, we're gonna bring the pressure now. That pursuit angle was the worst that the computer has ever taken. I switched to him, and he was way off. Oh, my gosh, dude. Just whatever. Whatever at this point. We'll figure it out. We definitely need to get better on defense for sure. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense. That was kind of embarrassing. Not gonna lie. Okay. Not to worry about. Just gonna go back to our regular scheduled programming. A little bit boring football, but Sixty-three for Nicholson. Not a bad day. It's actually a very good day for him. Tony Jones is usually getting most of the reps or receptions. Not taking the hit. Not in the mood. No. Oh. I thought he was going to take it to the house. Pretty good pocket. Um. From the 29 yard line, it's first down. And those are the runs that surprised me about Ray Reynolds. When he gets out in space, he, like, speeds up. See? Like, it's, it's just speed, speed, speed. Boom, boom, boom. Seventy two yards for Mike Nicholson. And he's in there. I had to kind of fake him out. The raid has to get his engines going a little. Pretty much just gotta play, just gotta play better. Davis from the two. And he's taken down at the twenty seven. Yeah, we definitely need people with uh, better better tackling. For sure. What separates a good team from a great team is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and being able to execute. 
so far we've seen both of these offenses be able to do that. What? Why did my character stop? <laughs> okay. I've noticed some control issues, but I don't know. I could just be that bad. He caught that. And down he goes around the 44 yard line. It's complete for about seven yards and a first down. Using a four wide receiver set against a four three can be confusing for a defense. They didn't look like they were ready to defend that pass play. They bring him down in the backfield. Zach Clawson? Yes, that's our Tyson Clawson. That's our DN. They dominated the point of attack. We need certain positions to play very well. All right, second and 14. Okay, I'm going to try to bring the pressure again. Great tackle. Ryan Henderson on the tackle. All right. And we'll hit him with the cover six now. Big sack. Five for Clawson. Dude, yes, we need defensive end play for our recruits. Bam, hit him hard. Good job, defense. All right, let's go. Oh, Noodles is here. Noodles, I'll get to your comment. Ding, let me return this punt. Ah, 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 y'all saw that, right? Ah, 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 I left them. I left them. I left them. I know I got tackled, but I left them. Y'all see me leave them? Y'all see me leave them? <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Okay, so my football picks for the conference championships today. Noodles has Oklahoma State, Kent State, App State, Houston, Michigan, Bama, Wake Forest. Okay, okay, you're going with Wake Forest. All right, all right. Okay, Noodles, I see you. I see you, big dog. I'm pumped, man. I'm pumped to see some of these games. I think it's going to be so cool. Somebody banging on my door. Ain't nobody bang on my door. It's that fat baby upstairs again. Tricking me. <clears throat> he tricked me. From the 38 yard line. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And folks, it's next. All right, we back. Back 
I can't believe Jones. Oh, rest in peace, Tony Jones. Sorry about leading you into that hit, bro. My bad, dog. <laughs> My bad, bro. My bad. Uh. Hmm. From the 24 yard line, first down. All right, that's Walker's first catch. Good job, Ted. Good job, Ted. Or second catch. I don't remember throwing to Ted Walker. Okay, then. Thought he had him. Second down. That's cool. Okay. That is what we needed. Give our defense just a tiny bit of room. Text my brother after NCAA. Wow, wow. Some football. Just kind of want to watch some football today. All right, two pass breakups, one sack, one They're gonna, they're coming out in like passing formations quite a bit, quite a bit. There we go. It's a tackle for loss, but I should Ryan Henderson. Three tackles for loss. There. How did that tackle miss, bro? How? How? Ex explain. explain. Cozy, that's rushing brothers Boston. There we go, we got another one. Is that Henderson? Oh, dude, Henderson's going off. He's our linebacker. Let's hit him with another cover six. Play that. Dang, dude, this defense in this formation, I'm just taking a little bit more time per Big Stepper's recommendation of bringing more pressure. I'm uncomfortable with it, but it seems to be working out. Reynolds on the return. Reynolds feels it at the 35. Ah, bro, what'd he get me? Did, did he tackle my aura? He didn't get me. That man did not get me. No, he did not. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. Okay. This defense has really got to step it up and make it stop. Throws it in a hurry. And he a little dump off to raid. That's my check down in case you know that pressure is getting a little bit too spicy. So it's second down. 15 of 18, 184, and a touchdown. Most of the work has been done on the ground today. There we go, Chavion. Ah, uh, Chavion hasn't received as many carries today. We'll, we'll get him more involved just a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, I meant to juke. Okay, so we've got rush for a hundred. Let's 
sweetness. Yo, yo, give me the face mask. Wesley Jean, that's her backup. I try to get a couple passes to him every now and again. Nothing like super, super duper massive. That is 200 yards. Oh, dude. Dude, what a ball. You guys saw that play action. They awesome on that play. Mm. And a great to Mike Nicholson the having a game, isn't he? Two touchdowns. Almost missed that, the point after attempt. I'm trying, since we have 100 yards rushing, I'm trying to hit 250 passing. If you hit, like, known visiting goals each week for whatever position you're targeting and recruiting, it actually increases your um, repertoire with them. I don't even know why I use that word. I'm, I'm not even French. But you get what I mean. Your rapport. There's another French word. Nice placation bomb for a to <laughs> Dude, man, don't you love it, Noodles, when the play actions work? Honest. When the play actions work, it's the best feeling. But when you get blown up, you're just angry perpetually. Just under three to go in regulation. That's a great tackle. My backers have been doing good today. The, the linebackers, I call them the backers. The backers. They're about four yards away here on second down. See, playing well, everybody. Shift linebacker. Ah, cut block. Cut blocks are devastating. And they make the stop around the 47 yard line. He put the ball in there perfectly that time. Let me tell you, this kid has impressed me all day with the touch on his passes. That's a good looking throw there. Mmm, another sack. Had to had to grind for it a little bit. Clawson's kinda Boom. Mmm. Because I'll be honest with you. Alright, second and 15, Sam 3 fire. This is the guy who was supposed to be a goon. Posey. Posey was supposed to be the dude. Nope. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bring the strong safety on a blitz. Bratton. That's exactly who I'm bringing. Perfect. And it worked. Bam. Uh, he got sucked into the block, but, you know, we'll take... We'll take that. Yeah, Noodles, you know that those uh, deep passes, like, never work. We have to play dink and dunk until we get the athletes that need. Right. Five-yard return. Mm. I still want to get to 250. Um, passing. That's what I want to get to. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. 121 for Mike Nichols. Alright, it is nice to see somebody else. I ain't gonna lie, Kane. First and ten. Two forty nine. Okay. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Throws complete. 
All right, there we go. We've got pass her over 250. Yep, there it is. Conservative, and that's what we needed to do. I'm not going to kneel, because if I kneel, if I kneel, it gives me, like, minus two yards running for uh, my quarterback. Okay, there we go. We're good. There's Cruz. That center, freshman center, number one overall center in the nation that we got. We're having to play piecemeal. Eight consecutive wins. Dude, those wins gotta be helping us. It's gotta be helping us. Defense played great today. I will give it. I will give it to the defense today. I was worried about the defense. Uh, Justin Parker, 19, 22, 253, two touchdowns. No sacks, by the way. 86% completion rating. Rushing, 52 yards and a touchdown. 4.7 average. Justin Parker, 7.8 and two touchdowns on 39 yards. Javion got eight yards. Uh, receiving Nicholson, 121 and two touchdowns. Tony Jones didn't really take a back seat. Still put up 68 yards. Uh, let's see. Defensively. Okay. This and dude, Ryan Henderson. Okay, he's a sophomore. He's a true sophomore. Uh, Henderson had six solos. No. Eh. He had six solos, four tackles for a loss. Okay. And sacks, two by Tyson Clawson. Okay, the senior. One by Ryan Bratton, the freshman. I know he's a 67 overall, but he doesn't play like a 67 overall. So, Bratton had the sack and the pick. So, yeah, I am definitely okay with that defense performance. Offense just needed to do what they needed to do. And I is totally fine. So, Bratton got the defensive player of the game, and Parker got offensive. I think you could make your case for Clawson, but regardless, you know, any any win is a dub in my book. I I need someone to commit. I need somebody to come to my team this week. It's week twelve. Let's make a decision, boys. Oof gotten interest from who you've gotten interest from and then blah 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 okay there we go we got locked out by brian taylor and we lost kyle page that's not cool man i was within a hundred points blake has committed to our team okay that kind of makes me upset just a little bit what are we sitting at we're sitting at 45th Okay. What do we need? Outside linebacker, wide receiver, and quarterback. Dang, man. John, okay. Tyson, Mason, Washington, Taylor. Got three schools left. Boy. Are you serious? You really thinking about how close is Oregon? Oof. Oregon's close. Ismael Sanders. Jerome McCauley. When is Nick Washington coming? Week 12. John Tyson. Okay, tied. Uh, Derek Grimes? What are you doing? That's sad to see, man. That's sad to see. Uh, Kyle Page. Oh, uh, well. I mean, we ended up getting our backup running back pretty much. I see what Griffin is. 92 speed. It's not terrible. He's out of Virginia. 
Oh, wow, we've got two dudes out of Virginia. Georgia, Arizona's not a pipeline. Louisiana's not a pipeline. North Carolina's a pipeline. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Might as well kind of lean in on this, dude. Maybe go after some low lock cheese, potentially. Six five two twenty. Really? Uh, four four two. All those guys are fast. I mean, I'll I'll take a look at each. And. 76. Okay, there you go. Thinner. Fit right there. Ooh! Yeah. Offer scholarship. And since you are an 80 overall, you go here. Ah, uh, mm, mm-hmm, and there's another 80 that we found. Nope. Okay, 78. Give him that. Okay, so I have a hundred more points left. Put fifty on both of those guys. Man, I never I never thought that I would find these dudes like this late. This Fenner. This throwing is pretty good. Um, I, I pursue eighty-one tackles. Ooh. Okay. Cool. So he's he's very similar to Jerome McCauley. Okay, you know what? We'll we'll take that. That's good. We got him on the board in what week eight? Play game. Golds. And we'll take a look at who's visiting. We need to have a big day. We got recruits coming in. So right now, we are first against the rush. Uh, surprising. Sorry, had to text the mammy. All right. So, game goals, pass for over 250. Uh, three sacks with D-line, two tackles for loss with D-line. So, I'm not too sure if we're going to get Brian Taylor's things. Um, but I think we do have royal treatment to where... Look at that. Tony Jones, 57 catches, 759, 13 touchdowns. Dude's killing it. Uh, good middle, right end, and tight end. Hi, everybody. Reese 
Okay, this is a massive game for recruiting. Massive. I know what a cynic would say. Vanilla matchup, ho hum team. What you get excited about this one? You know what? Sometimes when you least expect it, that's when the best games break out. And you never know where momentum is going to start. And besides, in college football, who wants to miss that? Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. All right, we are going to kick the ball. Get the defense on the field as much as possible. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game. Pass for 250. Sacks, tackles for losses. That's what needs to happen. Oh, my kicker got obliterated. We're in the golds today. I like their uniforms. Their uniforms are cool. There we go. One sack. Oh, Travis Adams got it. Dang it. That's not what I need to happen. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at I mean, I'm kind of impressed that they gave it. I'm so glad I don't have to deal with um, hurry-up offenses all the time. God, that got old real fast. And he throws right away. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made Dang. a nice throw. I think I was in the cover too. Yeah, a I definitely save. was. Yep, I was in well too fire. That's why he didn't cover him. He stayed in his zone. You can't really be mad at Latimer for that one. He's taken down right around the 22 yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback mm -hmm. showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice crawl to the open man. Latimer. They had to scrap for it a little bit. Cincinnati. I think I played Cincinnati already. If that's the case, makes my win over them look 
even better. Follow our blockers. No, you slowed me down by bumping into me, but I'll take the return. 635, 11 touchdowns. Who can be mad at that? Ah, he didn't move. And that was the quarterback who got in there for the sack. You know, this is a great way to pressure the offense. Here they decided to blitz the senior from the corner spot, and there was just nobody available to pick him up. They find themselves in a hole here after cool. that sack. It's second and long. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. Okay. Uh, not looking good. This line looks all out of sorts. He's tackled around the 47 yard line. And that was a really well Boy, you know, you know we don't punt especially with an 18 yard gain. Let's see if we ain't gonna do it to him. This is kind of a surprising call right here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. Hey, late hit, bro. Use Nicholson. We need to hit this 250. Dang. Now he tries to buy some time. Just throws this one away. No one's getting open. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. You gotta, you gotta help me. You gotta help me. You can't drop a pass. <sighs> I don't want to punt. Yeah, they definitely got me with some happy feet, dude. Let's see if that works. You heard me. And I said to you, please stop. I walked outside. This is the 10th play in this drive. Please stop. And she was like, stop running around. Okay. So she heard me. I said, please do stop. You do this every single week. Yep, yep. Good for you, bro. I'm happy for you. Yeah, wipe, wipe your mustache and make stuff. Are you? All right, I told you I was wanting to watch some stuff with you. Um, here, let's check on the scores. It's zero zero. Oh, it's zero zero. I've been watching it. Uh, who's who? You uh, Oklahoma. If they win this, they're in the playoffs. If Oklahoma wins, they're in the playoffs. Uh, they're fifth. Schedule. What are you talking about, Oklahoma? You mean Oklahoma, Oklahoma State? State. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I want Oklahoma State. Noodles has Oklahoma State. He has Kent State win over Northern I Illinois. Agree. I just don't yeah, good for you, dude. Yeah, you ain't hearing it because you got your headphones on. 
that's why that's why I do that. Like well, when you were gone this week at work, I couldn't even sleep. It's still hard. He, even with my headphones on. It is. Because you can hear him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, is he like that big of a kid? He sees what you do wherever you go. I mean, I understand it's a kid. You know, kids are going to run. Like, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm streaming. I don't care. I mean, I'm the only one watching. Oh, okay. Noodles just updated. Oklahoma State 3, Baylor none. Like, if it's your house, I would understand that. Because that's, I asked Ash that. I said, is your mother going to give kids food to school? She said no. Oh, for how many kids does? Oh, he's got, he's got a two-year-old. But he's well-behaved. Like, he knows how to speak and everything for a two-year-old. Okay. He runs around, too. He's on the run. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, I told I told the front office, Brad, then. Well, I know they don't care. I said, look, we had two neighbors, and uh, the manager was kind of rude to me when I called, because I'm tired of walking up there and having conversations. I said, for, for my brother, my brother has to get up early. Like, like... Did you say that it's super loud in your room? No, I just I just open up the door. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake mm -hmm. and suddenly no, find themselves trailing. Hey, can you put the squad down up there? You do this every single week. Thank you. Because if you do this every single week, and that's when she said, stop running the road. Okay. So we'll we'll see. I mean, fair enough, dude. Second down and third. I, I don't think she cares. I don't think she cares, bro. There we go. There's a tackle for loss. Um, I, 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 I can still hear it. He wakes me up every morning. Um, like even if I try to sleep in. Mm. There we go, Latimer. Way to get your hand in there, King. Is Ashley coming over this weekend? Well, she's welcome. I just kind of want to watch some football with you. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Do not like these close games, but we do need to hit 250. And they make the stop at the 49. And that's the guy to do it with, too, Tony Jones. First and ten. All right, 65 yards in the first quarter. We just need to keep that up. We do need to have a bigger quarter. Mesh dig. I don't run mesh a lot. Mm. That's why I don't run mesh too much. They'll either stop or continue going. And that's like my biggest issue with them. With that route scheme. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Just not picking up blitz. They're blitzing me every single down. So we definitely need to figure something out. And he is drilled at the 42. You guys know me. We never punt. Yeah, run game 
has been shut down pretty much. D ah, you're kidding. He dropped him. This is a tougher game. Makes him think just a little bit more. From the 36 yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to him again. Tackle made at the 19. That's his 60th reception of the year. I can see now why go. this receiver had so many receptions this year. He's fast. He has good hands and he's 94. very hard to uh, If I get to 150, that just that just means I need to throw for like what 120. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Over a hundred. There we go. One thirteen. This is going to be a big day for recruits, hopefully. I believe Bill's coming out a little scrappy. Scrappier than most. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with his update. Reese, they line up to kick this one away. Not bad. Let's see if I can get the kick it down. This disrupts some kind of blocking. Here we go. Okay, 4:49 left. Uh, my middle linebacker has 91 speed, so I will put him there. I didn't read it. It's on me. Okay. I'm shifting the line correctly. There we go. Is that Henderson? No, that's Eric Jones. Good job, bro. Shift, take away the wider part of the field. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it. He's knocked out of there we go. At about the 31. Bend but don't break. The the defense well, with you, Nick, I never know what you mean, but the defense is looking better. <laughs> I know you. You're gonna do <laughs> stupid. You're, I hate you. <laughs> uh, we're doing a little better today, man. A little sore, but um, things are going well, bro. Ah. Got a lot of recruits coming in, so basically the goal on offense passed for 250. On defense, we need to get three tackles for loss, two sacks with defensive linemen. And then we have a defensive back visiting where he wants four batted passes and two interceptions. There you go, Raid. Okay. Go to ace, run my flat cross. This is one of my favorite plays in the playbook. See if we can get it, get her going. Out to the flat. There's a strike complete. And down ah. Goes the 37 yard line. Okay, let's see. So it's third down, and they're just. Okay, 130 in the first half. That's not bad. 
I'll take that. Finally, I get a defense that I can run this read option on. It's a no-go there. Makes it out to about the 29. Take away the sack yardage. Why not? See if Jones can break the press. And he do. Alright, after this play, we'll stop running a conservative burn on the clock. Take the time out. Let our guys recover. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. That's why we called the timeout. Okay. Nasty axis grew me when I was in my early twenties. <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Dude, that did not look good. <laughs> that did not look good. I'm sorry, Tony. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Their down conversion not looking too great. All right, 152 in the first half, which is what we needed, because that's only 98 more yards passing needed. No play action. <laughs> oh, Nick, Nick. <laughs> Woo. Woo, coming in with the heaters today, I see. Coming in with the heat, man. I'm throwing smoke today. This is the first season of this rebuild. We've been consistently in the top, top five. So we'll take it. Um, he's definitely running. I am going to bring Bratton on that. Slow him down. There we go. Backers are playing great. Okay, now we're going to check. Oh, EA Baylor just scored. Okay, seven to three. Show Come on, Oklahoma State. That Davis, David Pollock here in the studio hmm. as always. To lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, App State so games on ESPN. Care of the football, but I think I'll watch the Bama George game. Tickets as low as six hundred dollars. Why would you spend that money on a conference title game? Maybe a national championship, but six hundred dollars, dude. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. It's fielded at the two. Not a bad return. is on its way out on the field again and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Caught open field and he yikes the 41. They pick up good yard. Stone hit me hard. Quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. 
and in this case he did. Nice job. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Alright, this is definitely weak side. That's a weak side blitz. And we'll just get the first. that the end no decides to slide a nice seven yard gain on the option keeper they need about three yards to get the first here on second down All right. looks okay dang it Jones Two of five on third. I don't feel good about that. Gets him open field. Slides down to the ground. You know, Brad, on these third downs, we're at third and medium. Okay. Now, let's go to my flat cross. In this case, I think the defense They're playing it, though. And it opened up some running lanes, and the offense was able to take advantage of that and convert for a first down. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Second down and seven. Ball on the 39. There we go. Big pickup for 16. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here we go. The senior Chavion Smith for six. We'll take that. Six is better than none. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Mm. Receiver and he can't make the grab. All right, third and four. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Do I have the coverage I want? No. Do not. Good catch, McFarland. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him. Uh, Jones is out now. Doing it. There we go. We got close to 200 yards. Gave our defense some room. Alright, three possessions. That's what we needed. Yeah, we're going to be doing push ups for a while, Britt. cementing his star status right now. Kirk, this is what we expected of him, and through three quarters, he's produced. Well, we knew coming into this game, as you said, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country. And how can he not Rush seven, pass seven. What we've seen up to this okay. point. I mean, he's making good decisions with the football, getting his teammates involved in the offense. But most importantly, there you go, Brent. not putting his team in any kind of bad situation. He just seems to be managing the game and not letting this game manage him. From their own 28-yard line. It's second down. He scrambles. 
No. He has some room. Dives for extra That's the weirdest. Very convenient. Live stream today to distract us from kids playing that's all trial. Oh play! <laughs> How'd you know? How'd you know, King? <laughs> Boss lag? Yes. Is that D-line? Yep, that's cozy. D-line tackle for loss. Way to break. Way to come down on it. Good job. Good job. Good job. And we injured their quarterback, too. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Anybody want to tackle him? I'm a cron, more like socialist government over reach I cross. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's just like, uh, release the variant, release it. Oh, he got me. Wow, got me big time too. He burned me. And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a true to go update. Let's take a look at So uh Nick, you gonna watch any football today or you just kinda kinda chilling and, and for USF, those two guys on the steer. same wavelength. A perfect connection and a touchdown. He makes it to the twenty five yard line. All right. They punch it in for six on the last series. So he may, Tony Jones may come back in the fourth quarter, maybe. Oh, I threw the ball. No. Yikes. This guy headed to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We don't know how bad it is, but right now it doesn't look like he's likely to play any more football. There you go, Clint Barrow, 6'7 wide receiver. I think we recruited him like two years ago, gave him gave him a red shirt. Alright. I just need to throw like 40 yards passing just to be sure. There we go. From their own 37 yard line. It's first down. All right, super close, man. We've got one quarter to go. 28, 14. Nicholson comes in, he does his thing. Back in this very 228. Doc went wet, Colin Weber. <laughs> That's a 250 pound tight end. And I'm not too sure you're just gonna absolutely wreck him like that. Not too sure. No football watching for you? Okay. I didn't know if you had anything planned, boss man. You know, just kind of taking it easy on your Saturday. XYZ. Stiff arm harder than two, two, three. Ah. 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 I didn't see that one. You, see, you snuck that one in. You set me up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. Tasty. Yeah, I, I can feel some of those. I can feel some of those in my soul. Some of those comments. They just, just some heavy hitters. Oh, please run for public office. It would make my day. It would ruin so many other people's days. <laughs> that's that's why I want to see it happen. I need to absolutely hit this 250. 
Alright, I'm 10 yards away. I think I can get it done. Nope, he pinches in. Bam. Okay, so Dang, they are absolutely ready. That was it. That was my 250. Took that away from me. From the 21 yard line. Might go to a strongman competition in Concord. I have a Twitter from 2011 that would get me canceled last year. Now, like, ah, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> dude, you got the, the, the speed in which you put those comments in. You're tricking me, okay? Okay, we literally need two yards to hit that recruit goal. Coming up. We got it. Okay, 255 now. Let's make sure we get get rid of that uh, sack yardage. That's what we have to get rid of. You couldn't power through, Justin? Okay, he has 38 on the ground. I think we are okay. It's second and goal. Ball on the one. They're packed in tight on the line. There we go. Almost a seven and a half minute drive. That's perfect. Still enough time for our defense to get some plays in. It was a 14 play, 73 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. It's just really hard to get four batted passes and two picks in a game. Our defense is 76 overall, so it's not good. Sutton fields at the goal line. We have one sack and uh, one PEU. Okay. Yeah, he shared that plan with us, and you wonder sometimes if the plan is going to be able to play out the way it has today. But everything is clicking from the coaching to the playing and the execution. Just a dominant game. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He goes out of bounds right around the 28 yard line. David Sears. That's that wide receiver we were trying to recruit. And he ended up going to Louisville. Like, come on, dude. He was a five-star kid. Just take away the wider part of the field with the line. No! That was my sack opportunity. <laughs> Joe Biden has a weird ball. <laughs> Second and nine. It's just the like the thoughts that go through your head, dude. Like it's it's amazing. It in a hurry. And he's taken down at the forty five. Come on, man. I need sacks, pass breakups, something, something. Put Henderson there. There we go. Jake Latimer, that's that freshman. See if we can score really quick. First down. Balanced. Who 
who's Clemson losing to today? Bro, come on now. We ain't even in the conference championship. <laughs> There we go. Parker's throw was remarkable, and this quarterback we've been talking about all game comes through. Unbelievable throw by an unbelievable talent. We've been talking about this guy all day, and for good reason, and he delivers when his team really needs it. And he tacked on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with his update. Reese, they line up to kick this one away. Yeah, I don't know what ball Clemson's going to get. Yikes, he ran me over. Okay, one pass breakup, one pick. Uh, we'll fire two. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. Catches it, and that's all. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on okay. each play. Louisville's mm. going to take their first time out of the half. Second down. And Dude, they cover six. I mean, they, they have to throw. They have to. Interesting that they call a run play. Well, since they are going for the pass, I'm playing it. They ran it again. Turned into a blow blowout. Yeah, I'm just trying to get picks. I'm going to start calling timeouts, force them to pass. You know what? There. I didn't expect it to turn into a blowout. Not the way those first couple drives were going. No way. Oh, dude, you got to give me this sack. So it's second and ten. Thought I had him. Uh, no. go. Oh, he cut down on me. Got him. Dude, please. Please throw the ball. I don't know why they're doing this. They just wanted to get on the buses. We'll take the win. All right, let's see if that bodes well for recruits, even though we didn't hit the goals. We only hit one of the goals for uh, passing. Uh, let's go to game stats, player stats, 26, 34, 271, three touchdowns, no picks, sacked three times. Parker ran for 38 and a touchdown, 27 and two touchdowns for Raid, receiving 90 for Nicholson, Jones, 87 and a touchdown, two touchdowns for Nicholson. Let's check out defensive. Tackles for loss. Two for Eric Jones, but that's linebacker. One for Tyson Clawson. One for Travis Adams. That's a corner. One for Ryan Bratton. One for Miles Posey. Dang, fell short. 
One sack, Travis Adams. One pick. Uh, deflections. Only They only counted one deflection. Okay. Yeah, it's really difficult to get those deflections. For sure. I mean, that's good. You know, played a couple games. Jake Latimer, the freshman, getting defensive player of the game. Save that. All right. I hope I hope someone commits. Like we need a commit. That was a thrashing. Defense only gave up 14 points. Can't even be mad. But if if UNCC's to continue to dominate pretty much, we have to get these recruits a lot earlier. A lot earlier. We can't spend seven, eight weeks recruiting a guy. See? Yeah, no one. Nobody. Dang. All right. One head coach upgrade. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab instant commit. Let's take a look. See if anything changed. I have 400 points remaining. Oh, he visited us earlier. Okay. Brian Taylor. Boom. Okay. Fifty. Oh, oops. Put him at 200. Okay, that uses everything. Man, I really thought that... The, really thought that we were going to get... <laughs> 750 from the visit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let's see, yikes, UCF, 23 touchdowns, 2 picks, 6 sacks, okay, I'm not gonna play, but I'll, I'll come in if, uh, like, need be. I don't understand why it's this close. rushing yards. Okay. Oh, we've run the ball 43 times, passed it 37. Okay. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Uh, 
god, yikes, bro. Yikes. Not what we needed. Well, we can't punt. Can't depend on this defense. The offense that takes the field on fourth down. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop at about there we go. Seven yard line. Throwing for two fifty. I uh, know interceptions on the day for Parker. That's cool. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. This was a trap game. Alright, we'll take that. Okay, that's just a game I didn't have to play, pretty much. Alright, good job, Parker. Here we go, 10 consecutive wins. I'm gonna check defense. Boy, it's been a real pleasure just sitting back and watching him perform today. Please don't freeze. Thank you. Game stats. Play a stats. 260. 27. Receiving 125 from Tony Dots. Okay, cool. Defense 10 solos. Four tackles for loss by Kenneth Broders. Uh, deflections. Two by Kearney. One by Latimer. By Greg Russian. Okay. That should be enough to get a recruit. Like one recruit. UCF always gives us scares. Is the same one. Let's see, how is this one going? Oh. Fourteen. Oh, Baylor's beating Oklahoma State. Ah, come on, guys. Oh, we're still in a recruiting battle. Are they going to take us to the off season? Macaulay's visiting. Uh, run for over a hundred. Okay. You didn't want to commit. Okay, well, I thought we would get a get a commit. Okay, it's a good spot to leave it. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you had a good day, or will have a good day. I'm going to watch football with my brother and noodles. Yeah, we're working on it, bud. Thanks for tuning in, peeps. You guys have a good one. You guys have the best rest. I'll see y'all later.